On a hot July day on Belle Isle in Detroit, a group of like-minded individuals got together under one unifying theme, DP for life. Despite being closed for 13 years, this is the Detroit St. Martin de Poor's family. Before there was King and there was Cast Tech, there was the Poor's, you know, in the, in the city. And we, you know, we won everything. We was always respectful and we, uh, we represented for the city. This small Catholic school on the northwest side of Detroit achieved unprecedented athletic success. A school born in the aftermath of the 1967 riots. After 67, uh, all of the Catholic high schools on the west side of Detroit all merged into St. Martin de Porres. So there were oh, about four high schools that all came together and, and formed de Porres. So, you know, that's, that's what, that was the beginning of us becoming this powerhouse. In nearly 40 years, 39 state championships across track and field, basketball, and football. These kids groom for success every day in every aspect of their life. When you enter the pores, the pores was more of molding you for the future. It wasn't just about you taking the class. It was about preparing leaders for the future. So that's why I carry it with so much passion. I mean, we was there to win state championships, but, but my principal, Sunbeam Hughes, she stressed academics. She was big on academics. You was a student athlete. There's a reason the student was before the athlete. Even though they were the majority, DePores was not a boys' school. The girls' track team won three state championships, and girls' basketball won two. But some needed a little arm twisting to enroll. I wanted to go to Cass Tech in the city of Detroit. And my mom let me go for one year, and after that she's like, nope, you're going to DePores. And I cried. I did not want to come because I thought, I don't want to go to that all-boys school. But once I had an opportunity to walk into the building, understand the values and the relationships and the diversity just in Detroit. I mean, of course, it was 90% African American, but diversity from different neighborhoods, from different cities. It was really, really important to have those values, and I needed those. And then I was a track runner. As a kid, you don't realize. You think that this is normal. And then you leave. For me, I graduated, and I went, that was, that was a little special. And then the older I got, and, and especially when I started seeing, when I started coaching kids in high school, and I'm like, that was special. Like, I haven't seen anything like it. In football, 12 state titles, second all time. Coach Ron Thompson's Eagles were a well-oiled machine. We didn't change cadence, it was down, ready, set. And the ball was snapped. Everybody knew we were gonna snap the ball. Everybody knew we was gonna run, but we couldn't stop it. A home of winners, you know, no matter what, no matter how the odds are stacked against us, we're gonna come out on top. Current Oak Park football coach Greg Carter was a longtime assistant under Thompson. Carter was DePore's last head coach until it closed in 2005. And from one year to the next, the guys just believed, you know, that that's what they were supposed to do. That was their job, to win state championships. So it was always a pleasure to, to participate in those championships. And, uh, you know, I do have the dubious honor of saying I lost the first one because we won 12 in a row. Then we lost one. So that was me. That was uh, in 2004. I'll never forget it. It's clear. The bond that everyone shares will never be forgotten. Blue and gold through and through. Generations of Eagles getting together whenever they can to share the love. Be, be, be.